you're in the cab of the 611. Uh, Norfolk and Western built it in May 1950 in Roanoke Shops. Uh, 70 years old this year. On the left, obviously, that's where your fireman would sit. So he's got a few controls available to him there. He's got a feed water pump to preheat water and put it in the boiler. He's got control of the stoker to bring coal from the tender up to the firebox. He's got the stoker blast, which sprays the coal off the firing table. And I'm going to show you the firing table here in just a second. And then he's got a blower control on the bottom left there. And that blower control is to control air uh, for the fire. At the top, he's got his gauges. So you can see the pressure on his stoker, his blast, the boiler. You've got your water glass right here. And so yeah, that tells us the water level in the boiler. The engineer also has the water glass. And on this side, you've got the water column. Uh, with three tricock valves that correspond to different levels in the glass so that you can verify that glass reading. Um, give you a view into the firebox here real quick. So you can see that firing table down there and that's where the coal you know, comes out of the stoker and gets deposited on and gets sprayed out into the firebox. The stoker, that's the uh, automatic thing that you push around. Yeah. That's right. Yep, so there's basically a trough underneath that pile of coal there and it just feeds in and gets kind of it's a screw type auger uh, brings it up really is um you know this is a very modern locomotive because it was you know kind of last of the era yeah uh so a lot of you know very well thought out features so you know when we're sitting stationary like this we might shovel a little bit just because we want coal in specific spots so that we you know don't get cold spots in the firebox <laughs> yeah but you know going down the road the stoker is really your primary method of operation uh, over here on the engineer stand, you've got your throttle, your injector pump, your power reverser, automatic brake, independent brake, bell, sanders, and then your rail washer. So, be, you know, the sand provides good traction for the engine, but it's actually a resistance for the train behind it. So you can actually turn the rail washer on and clean that sand off after you pass through. Any questions so far? Mm, nope. All I right. He's messed with us. He's been up here quite a few times. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming back again. Yeah, this is my first time. It, it's really neat. I mean, it's really, you know, when you look at the engineering, it's just, it's kind of breathtaking at first. Especially like how long we made these made. I got to come up here when Sandy was banking the fire one night. Okay. Real late one night. So, you, so you've been here for the banking. That's, that's yeah. always a fun time. Yeah. So, all right. Well, if you want to blow the whistle, feel free to. All right. Uh, you can <laughs>